Well, there it is. Hi guys, welcome to another Warcraft Free Reforge video, this time taking a look at the HD Naga models. There are several to take a look at this time, and they have been uh, bumped up a little bit. They are high quality. First one we're going to look at is the Naga Summoner. So let's go for this. As you can see on the right hand side, I've created essentially a little character here that you can see, which is the old Warcraft Free model. And you can use her as a bit of a template. Some of the textures might not come through though. I've had to create a pink background screen. So you can get a bit more of an idea as to the overall look of the old model. Because Naga are either green or blue. So when you're using uh, a transparency and you're trying to use green screen, that doesn't work. If you're trying to use blue screen, that doesn't work. As you can see, look at these models. And there's the back. And we can just simply move this one over here. So you can kind of get a, a good look. So once again, coming to here. So we've got a good compromise, which seems to be like magenta slash pink. So that gives you an idea as to the Naga Summoner. Next model we will be taking a look at is the Snapdragon. Looking incredibly strong, powerful. So let's take a look at the previous version, which is, I think, a lot more cuddly in comparison, apart from the corpses there. Ignore the corpses. He's a good boy, really. Look at him. Happy as Larry. So there he is. You can see the super basic polygon models in comparison to his, uh, well, you know, his newer version. So let's see him attack. There you go, that's his attack animation. Let's scroll over here and pull him there so you can see him in comparison to that. Now for the side. I've only got two screens and the program I'm currently using to show you this gets in the way a little bit of my actual being able to see what you guys can see. So I might be blocking some of the few. I'll try not to too much. So in this case, I'll move them down there so you can see a bit better. And then you've got the back. So overall, it is actually a pretty good representation. In fact, it looks very nice. The back's obviously not quite so uh, pretty as the newer version. But it seems to hold the same sort of um, parts and pieces. Albeit this one newer version has a few more horns and spikes to it. Let's take a look at the next model. Now, I'm really hoping that this character stays as cute as it did when I originally saw it, because it was adorable, the portrait. It looks pretty snazzy here, I've got to say. This is the coral. It's the wind serpent kind of type character. And that will be this guy right here. So if we get him flapping away, try to zoom that out a little bit, pull that in. So there you go. That gives you a bit more of an idea as to how he's rolling. Let's pull this over. So I'm going to just try to change the camera angles a little bit here. And then you got this one. So overall, the actual shape and the representation of the original character is definitely withheld and true. Just given a little bit more realism. The skin obviously looks a lot more real and uh, lived in. Naga Sea Witch. So this is hard-ish to compare because essentially the Naga Sea Witch is essentially a, a new model because we only have Lady Vash to go off. So bear that in mind. But I feel that the Naga Sea Witch is very good looking. Like, everything about her just looks incredible. Like, the webbing, the hair. The thing I don't like the most about a lot of these models is they are a little bit almost too realistic in a way. That sounds like a strange criticism, but it takes away from the gameplay uh, aesthetic that I'm used to. But then again, it's like, oh, he doesn't like change. It's not so much that, it's just, will it actually fit? By themselves, it doesn't look so bad. But when they're with a whole bunch of different models and they've all got their own sort of different look because it's almost like some of them have been done by different art teams. And that's kind of a slight concern. But 
Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, the other thing I'm not 100% happy with is how the models look like they're almost shaped a little bit out of clay. But I think this is just something to do with like texturing that you kind of have these days with a lot of newer models. I can't say because I'm not a game designer, so I don't really have the right to criticize in that aspect. But sometimes it feels a little bit like they have been molded a little bit from clay. If you can somewhat get what I'm saying with that. Now, we got your boy. The cheeky Naga. It's Naga Myrmidon. The one with the cheekiest grin of all time. Look at that freaking grin. That is the best grin to ever exist. There will be nothing as good as that. So... He's got a giant gold weapon. Very beefy. This is where I feel like the Naga model falls down. Because this newer version looks a lot more dragon-like in the face. And whilst it is serpentine style, I don't like it as much as the beefy one that we currently have. He looks really good, the original model. The only thing that's kind of representative is the weapon that looks really good in the new version. Obviously not gold, but looks damn impressive nonetheless. But in comparison to this newer version, the weapon's like too big. He would not be able to hold this. He doesn't look anywhere near strong enough. Whereas you can buy this guy being able to hold on to this weapon. Because he's just a beefcake. He's a big guy. For you. And then we'll have the back of him, which, again, just looks incredible as well. So the newer models feel a little bit less colourful. A lot more bland in terms of how they would blend into the environment and blur. Whereas you can see the old model has a lot more standout pieces of art to him to give him that identification. Identification, that's what we're looking for. However, the Naga Royal Guard is a much more impressive take on the Naga Myrmidon. So basically, the Naga Myrmidon is the same model. So this is where Blizzard did decide to update it. Those two are almost the same. You can see he's got like more going on. Actually, no, I think it is actually exactly the same. It's almost like maybe bigger spikes. No, I think they are identical, actually, judging by the looks of it. Yeah, I would say those are identical. So the only thing that differentiates them is the weapon. So, at least Blizzard have taken the chance to give these new ones more identity in comparison to the Myrmidons. It's just, I wish they were a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. White Eagle says they feel like a dolphin, these new ones. Is that what you're saying? Like a dolphin? He's got a very colourful, feminine-looking back tail. Almost looks like it's more for the female Nagas than it is the male one, but... Who knows, actually, because in nature, it's the males that are actually the colourful ones that have to attract the females. Alright, so, taking a look at the Naga Siren, which is essentially the same as the Summoner. Like, there's not much to it. Almost the same as the Summoner, not quite, but almost the same, you can see. That's the Siren, that's the Summoner. So we pull the Siren up. Give her a little bit of a standing pose. Not a blinding pose. Wow, she really likes to blind her enemies. I'm not sure if I can get her to do it, I'm afraid. Nope, I'm sorry. She died trying. We'll just go with a more passive looking walk. So, actually, in this new version, she's got both hands on here. On this version, she's got her backhand holding onto the weapon when she's moving. But then again, this is like a different pose. Because I can't get her to match the exact same one. They look pretty spot on. The Naga Siren just basically looks like a slightly less over-the-top version of the Naga Sea Witch. So, basically, she looks great. Because the Naga Sea Witch looks freaking great as well. And there you have it. That is the models. The Naga models, not... Every single one. We don't see all the Murloc ones, but then again, I don't think we're going to get everything. We don't always get everything, but I tried to cover the news when it comes out, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to thumbs up the video, and I'll keep you guys notified if anything else pops out Warcraft 3 Reforged wise. So thanks again. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.
Alrighty. There you go.